Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Grand Power P1 Ultra. Excellent little handgun. I got it out to the range already and it really performed well. Freezing cold. And the P1 Ultra was as accurate as the other models. Now every time I feature a Grand Power, the feedback I get is I, I really need to check one of those out one day. People say that and I highly encourage you to do so it's not the type of gun you're going to see you know next to the glocks and the mps at your local gun store you may have to order it online they are imported by global ordinance but they are fine handguns now i've showed this several times this is the excalibur the race gun the single action triggers like 3.4 pounds it's amazing and over here we've got the first striker fire handgun the q100 that i love and today we're looking at the p1 ultra a little bit of a shorter barrel 3.7 inch barrel but they all share similar characteristics first they all have the same 15 round magazine they all have interchangeable back straps ambidextrous controls all right the slide stop magazine release both sides in this case the thumb safety on both sides all right and they all have a rotating barrel when they shoot and that is really nice it softens the shot and helps with the accuracy as well a lot of people love the rotating barrels i love them they they will say that whether it's this or the Breda px4 you know they'll say it softens the shot and i would agree with that the pre-pandemic price for the p1 ultra all right pre-pandemic price right around 400 bucks and i think that is a steal for a firearm of this quality now it does come with two mags and four back straps total one installed i did change it out these are tension held all right you don't see a, a pin to punch out they're tension held so if you look at them it has those grooves in there they fit right into the frame itself and it is it's pretty cool you just you pull it off now you you really you, know, you kind of have to work to pull it off it's not going to come off when shooting but you can get them off that way and that is how you change them out well let's check out this beauty grip you know not not heavily textured at all okay it does have some indentations there for the grip there a little bit of grip tape may be nice but another thing that they all have in common are very nice triggers you know already show clear here the single action trigger here i'm measuring right at four pounds pretty consistently too and then your reset you're looking at right there so at the range with numb fingers i did okay and i think i would do better in a little warmer conditions but that's okay you have to be ready in all types of weather it does have slide cuts there that are are super cool you don't see these too often you're starting to see them more and more it's been on the p1 ultra for a while now and then a fiber optic front sight serrated black rear sight with without a lot of room in between so once you once you acquire that front orange dot you should be pretty dead nuts i know i was i think i mentioned 3.7 inch barrel so it's a little bit smaller still has the 15 round magazines a accessory rail the slide cutouts and that rotating barrel that helps with the accuracy what a fine handgun i i am so impressed with grand power models i've been raving about them for years now a lot of people say you know i really want to check one of those out and i like i said i encourage it let's go ahead and check out the unloaded weight 400 bucks that's a steal here we're looking at one pound ten and seven eighths ounces we moved that to just ounces 26 and seven eighths ounces with the magazine here are 15 rounds we're looking at 33 and a quarter and that'll be 33 and 5 eighths 33 and a half so that's with 16 rounds you've got the p1 ultra made by grand power they, they make them in slovakia and a lot of people loved the Strebog. They, they saw the Strebog. That kind of brought Grand Power, for those who didn't know of Grand Power, on the map. The rest of us who knew of Grand Power, like, 
you you listen to the people who own them and they say, wow, you know, this Grand Power really is something. I feel the same way with each of the three that I own, especially this one now because it's new. I'm a little uh, super excited about it, I should say. But they will tell you they are phenomenal handguns and I, I'm not here to make a commercial. I'm not here to sell you. I'm simply here to review you, review to you and share my thoughts on Grand Power. And if you go back to those other videos, I'm pretty sure you'll hear the exact same thing. Many people say that the disassemble is difficult. I don't think it is. Let's go ahead and check that out now. To take apart the P1 Ultra, it's the same with all the other Grand Power handguns. So if it works with this, it will work with the rest. Unloaded firearm here. Take the slide as far back as it will go, and you have these takedown levers. Push those down and lift up on the back of the slide. There we have a fixed guide rod, your recoil spring, and 3.7 inch barrel. And there's a closer look at the slide. Some people say this is difficult, but I will mention, if you have one grand power, Sort of like, you know, you've seen one, you've seen them all. And that is how the disassemble and reassemble process works. Now, to reassemble, you want that, that cutout right there to remain there. Put this back into place. Okay, it takes every bit of two hands. Move it around this way. Bring the slide as far back as it will go. Use these takedown levers. To turn it in like that see how that's in there give a little tap there and you're good to go not bad you know you get better with time but it's a simple process for me because I own three of these and I can knock them out fairly quickly so there it is Grand Power P1 Ultra excellent little handgun one of the smaller nine millimeter models in their line but they have some nice ones if you get a chance Check it out. You'll become a fan the way I am, and be careful. They are addictive. I plan to do some more with this beauty in the future, and especially it would be great with some comparison, so look forward to that. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.